Okay, so welcome everybody to the Balance Your Shift call with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm just going to invite you to get uh, comfortable. You can lay down if you like, sitting up in your chair, whichever is the most comfortable for you. Do not do that if you're driving a car. <laughs> you have to sit up. <laughs> And we do invite you um, to be very conscious if you are driving or operating heavy machinery that these sessions can place you into an altered state. Um, so just be really, really aware. Or you can ask your higher self, your team, your guides to kind of block that really heavy, dense energy for you until you can get home where you're safe and then they can bring it all in at the appropriate time. So we're just going to take a deep breath in, and what I like to do when I start a call is set a safe and sacred space, and we're just going to call all the people in. So you might feel the energy around you shift as your guides and your team come closer, and since it is close to Halloween, those veils will be thin, and you might actually be able to get an instance in which you do see or hear or feel uh, some of your peeps, so that will be kind of cool. So here we go. We call forth the Ascended Masters, your guides. You from the future as an ascended master, your higher self, your team, the angelic beings of love and light that you work with. I'm going to call in my essence mastery guides and teachers and healers. And today I invited the enlightened water kingdom and the only people I could really think of were whales and dolphins, but... Um, be interesting to see who else shows up. And oh my gosh, I just heard octopus, octopi. That's really strange. I'm going to have to look them up later. But so we're going to invite them to come forth now and surround you in this safe and sacred space. Ooh, there it goes, a little shift. Everybody's coming close. We invite your higher self and your body, Davis higher self, to actively connect and engage with your own healing source, your own spiritual power and to connect and engage with all systems, levels, components, and all aspects of your body and your being. We call forth the appropriate sacred geometric healing shapes, holograms, and mandalas that have the capacity to support you today from a place of self-empowerment, divine boundaries, energetic discernment, healing, truth, self-control, self-love, faith allowing abundance and flow. Plus any other intentions you wish to bring in for yourself today, we're going to ask these intentions be held in your energetic fields. You can just feel that whole energy just shift. Everything's just kind of really still. And that's going to be our first process. But before we get to that, I just want to remind everybody that me, my body, my team, my guides, we're not doing anything to you. We're holding this sacred container. We're sending you the information. We're going to model how these processes work so that you can shift them for you. So that being said, anything that happens on the other end of the phone with you guys is you, at the level of your higher self, shifting you. We're not touching you. We're not doing anything to you. It's all you, your team, and your guides. So we just want to relay that to you so that you can get a sense of your own inner power. So the first piece that came up, and I'm just going to double check that we want to start. Yeah, we want to start there. Is all about the still point is what I call it, <clears throat> and stillness. So if you notice we had a little bit of a shift in energy as everybody came in around. It just got really quiet and really calm, right? And that is kind of the still point. That's where we function from all the time. That's the baseline that's running behind all the chaos and all the noise. And so 
what we're going to do is we're going to begin the session with that still point. We're going to find it, we're going to cultivate it, we're going to bring it in and move it from there. And that will kind of take away all the chaos and the noise and everything else that you're carrying in your fields that doesn't belong to you, keeps you distracted, keeps you in a state of anxiety, keeps you kind of like, you know, wired. So we're going to walk through this very slowly and I'm going to um, ask you to, this time, to let go of your mind. Don't let your mind do this work. Let your higher self do it. They know how to do it. And it's just much easier. You don't have to think about it. It's nothing to do. Just not, no thinking. You get to sit like a frog on a log having a really cool Budweiser. <laughs> okay? So I'm inviting your higher self and your body, Davis, higher self, and your team, all three, to engage and locate the still point within the body deva, the team, and the higher self. And that still point, and you might even feel it now, like all your energy is kind of coming inward. And we'll just invite you to take a deep breath in and pull all of that energy into your divine line. And the divine line is like a tube of light that flows just in front of your spine. And that's where your soul essence resides in the physical human form. Now, for some of you, that may be um, comparable to your heart space. So whatever it is for you, we're just going to invite you to just find that still point in that line, in that space. And we're inviting your higher self and your body's higher self and your team to bring all of your energy from the past and all of your energy that's in the future back to this divine line in a healed, clean, cleared, recalibrated, whole and healed state. So pulling all of your energy and awareness from all dimensions of time, from the past and into the future, where you can't do anything about it anyway, past has already happened and the future hasn't happened yet so there's nothing to be done you can't correct the past and you can't change the future so you might as well be here where you can you can manifest you can create you can be there we go and for some of you you'll feel just like this i call it like a sucking in energy like everything is just coming back in Okay, good. Now we're inviting the Ascended Masters, all the Ascended Masters to come forth and to encircle you at the level of your higher self. And we're inviting them, asking them to model how they hold their still point within themselves. Oh, wow, that was a big one. And then to reflect that to you, your body, and your team. So it kind of intensifies a little bit. So they're just kind of showing you how they do it at the level, at mastery level. Here we go. Some of you are already moving energy, clearing that out, clearing the chaos, bringing in the stillness. And we're asking that the Vibration, this vibration, this still point, this stillness, be activated in your divine line. So it's kind of like turning it on, flicking the switch, charging it, and then move it just with intention. Move this activation of stillness through your entire field of awareness. Just kind of feel yourself expand into the calm, out of the chaos, into the calm. And we're asking that a ball of light that's calibrated to your own soul's essence, that of your body and your teams, be brought in and around your energy fields. And this ball of light has the capacity to fill any gaps or spaces that have left, that maybe were occupied by chaos, which is now left. 
But in that space, there's like an empty space. There's a gap or there's just room. So this ball of light, which is calibrated to your essence, is going to fill those gaps and spaces with more stillness, that baseline of your soul. And we're going to ask that you move through the rest of the session in this ball of stillness. And you can, it's your ball. So you can keep it for as long as you want. <clears throat> you can move it through the session. You could take it to, th with you as you sleep. You, your body, and your team all have the same ball. Oh, actually, their ball. They have their own ball that's calibrated to their essence. And now we're asking for the activation of all spiritual lessons. And what that does is it activates the lesson. So you don't have to keep repeating it over and over. In this case, it's how to find stillness. So it's kind of like the next time you hear your guide say, find your still point. Well, you've already done that, so now it's activated. So you can go, oh, yeah, okay, let's do that. And your energy will move into that place. Good. And then we're going to update and repattern all of those pieces. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> same for your body, same for your team. And it's kind of a yummy energy is what I'm getting. It's just like, oh, this is yummy. <laughs> this feels good. And we're just reminding you, this is, this is that still place that is you. We're not bringing in anything that's not already there. This is you. So if you imagine, you know, pulling layers and layers of blankets of chaos off your bed, the only thing that's really true is the mattress, is that stillness. And some of you might be having a little headache pain or a little pain in the head and that's your body expanding into this stillness. Okay. And we're just gonna um, allow her to move. The body moves a little slower than everybody else. She's, uh, in, she's dense or he's dense. You have form. So moving energy just takes them a little longer. And I'm just getting some information. We're um, actually going to jump around. Because as you're finding the stillness is really interesting, other things are starting to come up now. Which is good, because whatever has come up is ready to be released. So I'm just going to take a look at this next piece. And I, yeah, I'm feeling that around the neck. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of you have past life trauma. I'm not surprised. If you're working with me, then uh, you're probably some type of healer in the past or light worker or um, some type of person. You were a little bit ahead of your time, and that was kind of scary to other people. And back then, what they did with scary people was not necessarily pleasant. So we're going to jump here because this trauma is coming up. So. I'm going to invite you at the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to engage and locate this point of time, this point of creation where this trauma began. Yep, and they're saying um, hanged. Some, some of you might have been hanged. I know I certainly was. Burned at the stake, uh, accused of being a witch, accused of being a heretic. Uh, this is all my stuff too, so we're all kind of getting that. And I think, you know, if you're here with me, we were kind of, we probably knew each other. <laughs> we were hanging out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's bring in the appropriate sacred geometric healing shapes, holograms, and mandalas. Or a chamber, I think they want a chamber, a sacred geometric healing chamber. There we go, in the appropriate number and the appropriate order around all of these points and times. 
And this is awesome, you guys, because now you just you kind of get to shake that off. And there are multiple lifetimes, is what I'm seeing. Like this isn't just a one shot deal. Like there's some of you are like, well, one lifetime I was burned, and then I came back, and this lifetime I was hanged, and this lifetime I was. So we're trying to we're going to cover as many as you're ready to release. We're actually covering all of the points in time, but not all of them are going to release. So only the ones that are going to release will. Uh, the rest of them you'll probably see um, come up for you again. There we go. Okay. Whew, we're asking for a release. Here it goes. Release of all the trauma of all these points in time. So just, you know, let it go. Let it go. There we go. You don't need it anymore. There we go. Yep. Oh. Release all negative karma. Okay. <laughs> you guys are funny. You guys are like, no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to have a little powwow with you guys. Why don't you want to release that? Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, so you're all telling me I can't release this. This is who I am. Oh, gosh, that feels so heavy. So, oh, wow, that's really heavy. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to invite you and tell you it's actually not who you are. And we're just going to invite your higher self to kind of refer back <clears throat> to its own spark, its own divine essence, to engage and locate your own spark, your own divine essence that comes from the heart of source. For some of you, that uh, could be the God, goddess, energy, source energy, creator energy, whatever you want. I'm just using whatever comes to my mind. There we go. There you go. And reference point who you really are, reference point, that spark energy, that that is who you are, that this trauma is not you. There we go. Oh, let it go. Delete and dissolve it all. Destroy it and uncreate it. That is not who you are. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whew, it's burning up. There we go. <clears throat> Release all the trauma. There you go. All the trauma around all these points in time. And if you are feeling any um, constriction in the body anywhere, d difficulty breathing, just remember, go back to that still point and breathe through it. Just breathe in, breathe out deeply and slowly. Here we go. Release the negative karma. Good. Yeah. Delete and dissolve all vibrations of the victim. You don't need that either. <laughs> you guys are all laughing. Yeah, no, we don't need that. Get rid of that too. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yep. Return and retrieve all soul fragments. So a fragment happens during a trauma, and it's kind of like, I, I describe it like a break. Um, kind of like if you break off a piece of a candy bar and you hand it to someone else, um, that fragment stays in the past. So there is a fragment in the past um, from all these points in time. <sighs> wow. And um, we're just going to go get it. You know, you're going to give back any fragments you have from any of those people who hurt or harmed you and give those back to the right and perfect place where they can be received with all relevant appropriate information. And then we're going to invite you to go and grab team two, go and grab your own soul fragments from these points in time. And I'm going to invite your higher self from the future as an ascended master to um, help with this. And I kind of just like see here going through all these points in time or him with this really fuzzy pink blanket of love and she's like gathering up all these pieces and this blanket is is a healing blanket so it's like releasing the trauma from then healing that fragment um just wrapping that piece of you in this just warm snuggly embrace 
And we're asking your higher self from the future as an ascended master to clean, clear, heal that fragment, recalibrate it to your own soul's essence and gently and gracefully integrate it back into your own um, fields, essence, into your own soul's essence. Oh, that feels good. And I feel a little recalibration in your solar plexus. It's all about your power. Right? So when we clear the victim, we are activating empowerment. And that solar plexus is recalibrating to that activation of empowerment. We're asking for a healing of all of these points in time. There we go. Okay. And the activation of the spiritual... Um, Yes, the activation of the spiritual lessons for all these points in time. Uh, I want to do that. Okay. And we're asked for the return and retrieval of all souls' gifts, wisdom, tools, or mastery that you may have left behind in those points in time. So maybe you were a healer and you're like this time around, you know, I'm going to leave all this healing stuff here and I'm not going to bring it with me in this lifetime. So you guys stay there because that crud didn't work. So, and then you come here and you're like, well, I'm a healer, but I have no tools or I can't do this or it doesn't work or whatever it is. Go back and get those tools that you left back in those points in time, the time where you said, not again, I'm not doing this again, it all stays here. Now go get them. <laughs> and that's the beauty of energy work, right? Is that, what, 250 years later, you can actually go back in time and go get those pieces. There you go. So return and retrieve all of those tools, all of your wisdom, all of your gifts, all of your mastery that you left behind in those points in time and bring them, actually clean them and clear them from everybody else's energy, heal and repair them, kind of fix them. There we go. Recalibrate it to your own soul's essence. And the body and team are going to do the same, and they're going to clean, clear, heal, repair, and recalibrate to their own soul's essence. Good. And now we're going to take those uh, gifts, I'm going to call them gifts, the activation of the spiritual lesson, which is empowerment, and the healing of all these points in time. We're going to lift them up and off all these aspects of times and all these dimensions, realities and bring them back to the level of your higher self in this current breath of now, the present breath. You, your body, and your team, they're going to do the same. <sighs> Good. And bring those pieces back down to you here in the physical dimension, reflect it down to you, the healing, the release of the trauma, the activation of the lessons, the soul's gifts, the fragments. And we're going to bring them back into this present breath of now and beyond for you, your body, and your team. Activating the spiritual lesson. There we go. In the divine line of all three of you, there's like this really light energy happening. And then we're going to ask for an update and repatterning all of those pieces for you, your body, and your team. <sighs> Big energy there. And this is an awesome, awesome time to release those pieces with this moon energy. And they're telling me, you know, you forgot to invite La Luna, which means the moon. <laughs> And I'm like, you're right. So I kind of see her kind of coming in and asking if she can play. And um, yes, we are going to invite La Luna in to um, do this work with us as well. <laughs> like, yeah, you forgot me. Good. I'm just waiting for that shift to just kind of move um, through everyone. Like some of you are already done with it, but there's some other people who... Um, they're still shifting. So we're just going to hold that space for them. Okay. And 
And just, you know, for, um, for those of you who are unfamiliar with moon energy, when we have a super moon like this, and it's full, full super moon, it's big, big release. And a lot of you who really felt this last piece move, you're just going to feel like, uh, I, I can't, like an elation, like a less of a burden. Um, because it's hard to function in the present when you don't have your stuff or you still have these pieces hanging over you or you're like, well, who am I going to be if I, if I let go of this trauma? Well, here's the question. Here's the real question. You know, who do you want to be? Oh my gosh. Who do you want to be? Because you can be anybody you want to. Don't use that as an excuse to keep you from being big, from being you, from being your truth. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting kudos from the guides. <laughs> okay, we ready? All right, so this next piece kind of brings us into, uh, we're following that down the road a little bit. You know, like, who are you? I, go, I don't have this piece anymore. Now who am I? You know, I, I can't be the victim anymore. I have to be the empowered soul and I've got all these cool gifts. But now what? So this next piece is to now realign you with your truth, right? Because now you have this big space and you're like, okay, I let it go, Elizabeth, but now what? And now we're going to realign you with your truth. So know your truth, be your truth, realign with your truth. So everything just moves and flows from you in such a way in which you will actually surprise yourself. So I'm going to invite your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to engage and locate everywhere you're putting up blocks and using confusion or anxiety or frustration or indecision or the who am I going to be without this piece block on your path to your truth. So we're just going to let them locate everywhere you're doing that, everywhere you're blocking yourself to your path of truth. Oh, yeah, you guys are. <laughs> Got it. Uh, hang on. And they're telling me we would like to remove those blocks. Okay, yes, well, that's next. All right, remove the blocks. Destroy and uncreate them. Delete and dissolve them all. Get rid of them. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, a lot in the heart, you guys. It's a lot of heart. Oh, wow, yep, heart energy moving. Whew. Ooh, wow. Delete and dissolve it all. Return and retrieve any pieces that are not yours that you're holding, anywhere that you're functioning, um, or you perceive that you're fun functioning from your path of truth, but it's not your path, and it's not your truth. Um, so return and retrieve all of those pieces. Send those pieces back to whoever they belong to, to their right and perfect place where they can be received with all relevant appropriate information. 90% of the time, they don't got their shit together either. I promise you. So why take on their issues? It's kind of like, I got my own, <laughs> right? You ever feel like that? Like, I got my own issues, you know, I can't deal with yours. So gather them up and give them back. And we call that return and retrieve all those pieces. <sighs> Good. Oh, oh, there it is. <coughs> Woo. It's not your path, it's not your truth, and it's you're not in line. You're not aligned. Good. We're just waiting for that clearing to happen. And it's happening out of the heart. And the heart is, you know, your soul's passion, the way you receive love, the way you give love, the way you move from your soul's essence, all happens in the heart. And the room is getting a little spinny and people are starting to get tired. That's good. Remember, we talked about that before. That's good. Good. Just listen to your body. If you need to lie down, lie down. If you need to close your eyes, close your eyes. If you need to stop surfing the internet, <laughs> you can stop surfing the internet. <laughs> Good. 
Now we're going to invite you to locate your soul's purpose and your path for this lifetime. So before you came in, you had a purpose and you had a path. You know, you didn't come in here and be like, hey, I'm just going to wing it, right? You had a plan. You had an idea. You had a purpose of how you wanted to serve, what you wanted to experience, how you wanted to be. So we're just um, inviting your higher self to kind of, I always see it like a library. um, And inside this library are nothing but books that are on you. It's like your library, and everybody has their own library, so you're not going to run into anybody. Um, So we're just inviting your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to kind of go to that library and find your book, the book on your path, on your truth, on your purpose. And we're inviting her to kind of open it up. And like, let her rip. Like, imagine like you open this book up and like all these sparkles and fireworks come out of it. It's like all your soul's passion, all the juicy, yummy, golden, it looks golden to me, um, energy coming out of it. And your Cyrus, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. (laughs) Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay. And then we're asking her to gather up this information that you're getting, you, your body, your team, get, uh, gather up the information that you're getting from this book. Take all the notes down you need. And then we're asking um, them to reflect it, right? To show you from the higher realm, from the library, because that's where it's happening in the higher realms, to show you and reflect it down to you here in the physical dimension. And how that works is kind of like... Um, um, sending an anchor, oh, this is a weird, weird metaphor, sending an anchor uh, from a boat. It's your, the anchor is actually the information that you're gathering and you send it slowly down to the bottom of the ocean, which is where we here in the physical dimension are kind of like sitting. So it's kind of like we're sitting here in the bottom of the ocean floor and this anchor from above is coming down with all this information. And so when that information comes in, we get to realign with it. We get to utilize it. We get to be, oh my gosh, this is right. Oh my gosh, inspired ideas. And bring that in for yourself. So we're inviting your higher self, body's higher self, and team to realign your path to your soul's truth. Like, this is my truth. This is my path. And to realign it in your energy fields, in your chakras, in your meridians to reflect that path to you down here in the physical dimension. And to activate it. Turn that path, that truth, that passion, that purpose on. Flick the switch. And they're cheering the body deva on because the body deva, the body itself, which the body deva, for those of you who are new to me, is the consciousness of your physical human form. It actually does have its own awareness. And um, the body was just kind of feeling um, lost and I don't know what I'm doing. And, And this soul person thingy, she doesn't know what she's doing. So I don't know what I'm doing. We're all just kind of don't know what we're doing. And now the body body is like, yeah, I get it now, I remember. And so she's bringing that in. <sighs> there we go. Woo, that was a big one. <sighs> okay. And we're going to uh, activate it and then repattern it. And the repatterning process is, you know, we're asking the higher self to update your reference points, your orientation points, always in which you perceive, and then reweave any grids, any templates, any blueprints, any anything that's affected by this change. We're asking that a healing come in, that the reweaving happen. It's actually a lot of things happening in one word. Um, because basically I'm impatient and I didn't want to walk through it all. (laughs) So we say repattern and then we just wait. (sighs) They know what we're doing. They get it. Okay. Woo! 
Whew. Oh, that was a nice little release down there on the right side. Um, the mid torso, mid torso, lower torso. Felt more like, uh, I don't know what that is. Gallbladder. Oh, that's interesting. Gallbladder. <coughs> there we go. Whew. And again, we're just waiting. Again, the body moves a little slower. There's other people who are still shifting in the higher realms uh, that are not live on the call. We're just holding that space for them to kind of move that energy. Good. And we're inviting your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to locate everywhere you are feeling as if this work isn't working. <laughs> and you're creating resistance to shifting it. We're inviting you to uh, delete and dissolve all of that. Whew, there you go. Delete and dissolve it all. So here's the thing. You don't have to feel it. You don't have to experience anything. Um, you know, and I'm talking, oh, I feel this, that, and the other thing. I'm an empath. That's what I do. I feel everything. I feel what your fields are doing. I feel what my fields are doing. So for those of you who are empathic and you, you're a feeler like me, um, that's helpful to you. And then there's some of you who are like, I don't feel a damn thing. <laughs> and that's okay because you may not be clairsentient like I am. You might be clairvoyant. You might be sitting there like seeing like all these balls of light or hearing ringing in your ears or sounds or you might smell something or you just have a knowing that it's shifting, that it's working. Or you might even hear, you know, your guides going, hey, it's working. Again, you know, and for those of you who don't feel any of that, like maybe your senses aren't quite developed yet, then we're just going to invite you to move into the vibration of trust and trusting and knowing that your higher self, your team, your guides, they're doing the work for you. And for you, that will show up in your reality as kind of like a release, a lightness, a joy, a block being removed, things coming together. <sighs> And everywhere you're holding onto the past because you're afraid of the future of what you may become, we'll invite you to delete and dissolve all of that. So these are subconscious fears. These are like soul fears. This is kind of like your soul going, oh my God. I don't know what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Okay, so everywhere you're doing that, delete and dissolve all that. There we go. Fear is an illusion. Fear is an energy that keeps you stuck. Fear is an illusion uh, that keeps you really from being who you really are, right? You think it keeps you safe and protected and, and all those things, and it doesn't. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It does not do any of that. So anywhere you're holding fear is a mechanism to keep yourself safe. Delete and dissolve all that. Oh, wow. <coughs> <coughs> Woo, you guys got a lot of fear going on. So here's the deal with fear. <coughs> And it doesn't have to be like, ooh, the zombies are coming fear. It's more like fear of, you know, worry, fear, what's ha going to happen, fear. Am I going to be supported? Does spirit have my back? That kind of fear. And fear happens when there is a deficit in trust, the vibrations of trust and the vibrations of faith. Knowing that spirit's got your back. Know that, knowing that you're being guided. Know that everything that happens on your path happens for a reason. And it's all here for your spiritual growth and evolution. Um, so let's um, let's recall, let's return and retrieve all of your orientation points and reference points for your trust and faith that you've placed externally, not in that zone that we started with that still point, but you place it out on other people, places, things, money, teachers, gurus, healers, and completely delete and dissolve all of that. And go and get them. And I, I like to think of this as like fishing rods. Like all your fishing rods are in the ocean. And we're going to go find all that trust and faith that's in the ocean and reel them in. 
bring them back to the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team, who are going to clean them, clear them, recalibrate them. There we go. And they're telling me I'm moving too fast. I'm getting too excited. I'm trying to pack this with a lot of stuff. Good. And now bring those trust and faith rods, if you will, back into the divine line, into that still point, into your heart space, in a whole and healed state. There we go. Woo, that was just like a click. Got it, click. And into this current breath of now and beyond. Moving out of fear, into trust, into faith. Good. Activating all of those spiritual lessons. Turn it on. Doesn't work if you don't turn it on. And repattern it. Good. And I'm just looking at your body. The body Dave is coming forward and she's like, I would like to do... I would like to work on... Solar plexus, okay. She's got lots of... Huh, really? Really? Okay. In the solar plexus? And I am talking to the guides right now because <laughs> this is not on my sheet. <laughs> In this, being held in the solar plexus? On the solar plexus. Held in. Okay. Oh, that's really weird. On the body. On the soul. Okay. Okay. All right. must be Halloween. Um, this one's going to get a little funky. Bear with me. Uh, but the body is showing us that there's some energy in the solar plexus that it would like to clear. And again, we're going kind of back in time for that. Um, so I'm going to invite you, and they're going to walk me through this because, again, it's not on my plan, so we're just going to walk through it, to uh, the love of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to engage and locate. Any curses, hexes, or spells that you, in any point in time, in any dimension, reality, or space continuum, may have cast upon another, or anywhere another has cast one or, or several <laughs> on you, your body, or your team. And so <clears throat> and so why do we specify all three? Because sometimes from this is kind of what I'm seeing is that um people would cast curses. And yeah, it would kind of stick to the soul. But back in those days, they would curse you for like, I wish you would die. I wish you would get sick or he, um, you know, I, I wish this illness or I wish this disability. And so it was really cast on the body, um, but it, obviously it affects all three. Um, so we're just inviting you to engage and locate everywhere you've done that and completely destroy and uncreate it all. Delete and dissolve it all. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> and kind of like locate all those and return and retrieve all pieces. Give their crap back to them and take yours. And yeah, it was crap. You know, we weren't so enlightened back in, that, in those days. So take all your crap back. And bring it to the level of your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team. You know, back then we didn't realize how powerful we were. <sighs> Here we go. And clean it, clear it. That energy. <sighs> um, I'm going to ask you to repattern it. Yeah, before you bring it back down onto you, your body, and your team in a whole and healed state. <sighs> That's an interesting one. Right in line with Halloween, right? Witches and goblins and ghouls. Yes. Um, yeah, you want to do that? Okay. It's not 
Oh, sorry. Okay, good. Uh, then activate all the spiritual lessons. Good. And I'm going, before we repattern that, I'm going to invite you at the level of your higher self, body, self, higher self team, all three. Yes, to clean and clear the solar plexus of any of that energy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Up and out of the front, the back, and the crystalline structures that lie within. <laughs> and delete and dissolve all of it from there. Return and retrieve all of those pieces. Oh, it's going, yeah, big. <laughs> oh, I want to like dry heave so badly, but I'm really trying to keep this recording clean. <laughs> it's just big. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, woo! And we are going to run a little late. We're going to run over an hour because I do want you to have this last piece, but we got to get this one cleaned up. Clean that out. Okay, yes, please cut all cords that you are extending to others and others are extending to you that do not support you from a place of self-empowerment and destroy and uncreate those. Cut them, remove them, discord them, uncord them, dissolve them, along with any hooks in the solar plexus as well, please. And hooks or cords are, are a little different. Hooks are kind of like, I really want to cord you, but I don't really want you to notice. I'm just going to hook in. <laughs> and cords are like, I want your solar plexus. And it's like, uh, he, you know, they're like plugging into you. So let's um, return and retrieve all of those pieces and return and retrieve any power that you may have given away to others or others may have taken from you. Body David team, higher self, engage and locate any power you have given to others or others uh, may have taken from you and return and retrieve it back to you at the level of your higher self. Yep, clean it, clear it, recalibrate it, and bring it back down onto your divine line, in your solar plexus, in a whole and healed state, and into this present breath of now and beyond. And I'm just going to give you a few minutes, just kind of deep breathe and hold that space. And there's um, some jaw energy going on on the left side. Like, uh, it feels a little like TMJ tightness. <clears throat> Take a look at that. <sighs> okay. And it's um, throat chakra. So let's do um, everywhere you're holding blocked energy in your jaw, in your throat, in your mouth, in your teeth, from all the places where you couldn't speak up or speak out because you were fear, uh, afraid of being punished or otherwise... Um, murder, maimed, or harmed. Let's engage and locate all that. Ouch, delete, dissolve all that. <sighs> Woo! Yeah, that's like mass exodus right there, right out the crown. Return and retrieve all those pieces. <clears throat> Here you go. Now that tightness in the jaw is starting to loosen up a little bit. And that's activating uh, something in the heart right now. There's a, um, so not being able to speak out is really kind of like a constricting energy, right? Because it's holding in in the in the throat, but it's also being held in the heart. It's really like I'm not being heard, I'm not being loved, I'm not being accepted. Everything that that brings up for you, delete and dissolve it all. <coughs> I'm not worthy, I have no value, I'm a piece of lousy crap, and this is just what I'm hearing, <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, I can't do anything right, I wish I were gone, everywhere you're holding that, thinking that, anywhere it's in your mental fields, your emotional fields, delete and dissolve all that, and return and retrieve it, because 90% of the time, those thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are not yours, so engage and locate who they belong to, <sighs> There you go. Delete and dissolve them all. And again, this is like, give them back their garbage. Return and retrieve it all. Remember, you know, you got your own stuff to deal with. You don't need theirs in your field. So return and retrieve all those pieces. It's kind of like going over to their house and banging on their door and like, here, take your garbage back, please. 
but we're sending it back to its right and perfect place where it can be received with all relevant and appropriate information. So we're being nice about it. <laughs> Don't psychically attack anybody, right? So if you're like, oh my gosh, that's my mother, okay? Don't psychically attack her. Just give her back the bag. <laughs> We don't want to assume any karma. We can't clear that tonight. <laughs> Good. All right. Activate all of those spiritual lessons and repattern. Woo. Same body, same team. Yeah. I would actually. Do we want? Do we have time for that? No. But I want to. I didn't get to my list. <laughs> okay, what's next then? I'll leave with the acupuncture. Okay, so they're telling me that uh, you guys are really kind of saturated, uh, which means um, you're just kind of full energetically from all that work. Um, I had a couple more that I could have done, but um, they're telling me to go straight to the um, aggressive energy saturation of negativity process, which is the bedtime process that we spoke about earlier um, when we were not recording. So for those of you who are late to the party um, or weren't here at the time, you're getting it energetically, we're going to bring in what I call a bedtime energetic acupuncture session to clear and release aggressive energy, which I describe as really a saturation of negativity. And it's almost as if your mental field, your emotional field, your energy fields are just full of garbage, just voices and thoughts and feelings and beliefs that are just all negative. I mean, it is just like negative Nelly 24 hours a day. And it's like a thousand people surrounding you all the time. And so this process will help clear the aggressive energy and then reset, rebalance the five elements um, in acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Um, earth, wind, fire. Let's see if I get it. Earth, wind, fire, air, Wood, I think. Water, water. Um, that's funny. <laughs> Guys are like, water. <laughs> um, so to rebalance all those elements in the body. Um, so before we start that, I will tell you, this one could be a little bit like a kick in the head. There may be a 24-hour purging process in which you just feel like I ran over you or you ran over yourself, which is more appropriate, like a truck. Um, so just understand that that's the purging process. That doesn't mean that you're getting worse. It actually means that you're getting better because all of that heavy densest is going to be leaving. Yay! So party time. Um, so for this piece, again, um, I would not recommend doing it while you're driving. Um, and if you do have time to lay down, we invite you to do that. And, and it, they're saying it's going to run after we initiate the process. It'll run for you for about how long? One to two hours after. All right, so we're going to initiate it. But it's kind of like, you know, imagine you're laying down and I'm, you, I'm telling your higher self where to put these acupuncture needles and you're laying on the table for an hour to two hours. It's really kind of similar in that way, only this way you kind of get to move around your day and, or the rest of your evening and be cool. And um, it'll shift and clear uh, as you sleep and throughout the day tomorrow. And I just want to make sure you guys are ready for this. I am. Okay. So <laughs> some of you are like, oh, I don't know if I want that. <laughs> you don't have to bring in anything you don't want. If it doesn't resonate you, with you, just say no thank you. And no big deal. They won't bring it in. Um, but anywhere that you're holding resistance or fear to bringing in the process, just for the sake of of um, not wanting to change, wanting to be resistance of change or being in fear of change, um, I'll invite you to delete and dissolve all that. There you go. Because I promise you, you know, it may take you three days to recover and get back to balance, but that third day, man, you feel great. It's like a mass exodus of negative energy. <clears throat> now you're higher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could do that. All right, so here we go. Deep breath in. 
just relax. And again, this is not for you. Don't even do this with your mind. Just turn it over to your higher self. So inviting your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to engage and locate any aggressive energy that is currently affecting the body in and around the meridian systems or the chakras, your mental field, your emotional field, or any of your other spiritual bodies. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Woo. <clears throat> We're asking for a clearing of all the energy that is causing this discord. And then we're inviting your higher self, your body's higher self, and your team to then engage and locate the appropriate meridian points <clears throat> in the appropriate number and in the appropriate order, because there is an order in which the needles do have to be placed. So we're imagining like up in the higher realms, that you're lying on a table and you're getting acupuncture. So we want to make sure it's being done correctly. And uh, these meridian points that are being activated in the appropriate number, the appropriate order, we would like them to correspond with the clearing aggressive energy from the body, the body's energy, the soul's energy, whatever is more appropriate. as it is done in traditional Chinese medicine. So we'll just kind of add that piece there. Yeah. So just imagine, you don't even have to imagine actually, you probably can sense it or just get the idea. There you go. And I just felt an invisible needle, if you will, go in the back of the head, <laughs> which is kind of cool. That's the GV20 line, which is the um, main meridian for your soul's essence. It's a nice one to clear out. Okay. So we're asking that this clearing and this healing be run in the higher realms for the body. Deva, the soul, and the team to the degree that you also choose. So, you know, if the body's like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to do all of that, then, you know, we just allow her to do what is appropriate for her. Same for your team. And then we're going to invite them to then reflect that healing, all the good juicy stuff, down to themselves, down to the body, down to the team, down to your soul, you here in the physical dimension. And into this present breath of now. So once the clearing and the healing happens up high, you're going to get the reflection. Again, that anchor will come down. There we go. And those pieces will be brought in for you in this spur in, in this um, dimension. We're asking that all five elements earth, wind, fire, water, air all be rebalanced, reset, recalibrated. There we go as well. Let your meridians be cleared of this aggressive energy as well. The body be cleared of this aggressive energy. That your higher self, your body, Davis, higher self, and your team all bring in an appropriate healing for you as you sleep once this energy is gone kind of like filling in the spaces with your own essence. <sighs> Ooh, I am getting loopy. <laughs> Good. I ask that run for the appropriate time. Let the clearing, healing, and integration happen gracefully, gently, without a lot of energetic fallout. Okay. And they're like, okay. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to ask that all these spiritual lessons be activated. And that this session be run for as long as it takes to rebalance and reset your system. And the elements. Good. Okay. And then we're uh, asking that all of those pieces then be repatterned. Same for your body, Deva. Same for your team. 
Yeah, now you guys, your gooses are definitely cooked. So we're gonna ask that you be wrapped in a safe, sacred container of love and light that has the capacity to seal these vibrations in to the degree that is appropriate for your own spiritual growth and evolutionary state. We thank the angelic realm who have come forth to serve and assist today. To all of you who had the courage to bring your game pieces to the party, for as you shift, humanity shifts with you. Let it be so. Oh. Uh-huh.